Oh yeah, I should hit the unmute button. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's Monday. We're back. I got a Shizu here. It's very anxious about something. Probably getting pets and brushes. Hello, Hamlin. Hello, Mutt. I hope you both had a good weekend. Hello, Fizz. I'm just waiting for my cookies to kick in, really. Oh, now you're going to come up here? Now you can come up because your sister's here? Let me help That's you. That's first class. <laughs> You stinky little bitch. You're a motherfucker. You know that, Odo? Daddy put you up here. I had you up here earlier. And now you decide you can go up here? Stinky little jerk. <laughs> Someone joined the game. Book has her on camera. And I was derogatory towards Odo. Come little fucker. He deserves it. What? Did we have a button in the camera? I guess we might have. And I picked him up. He had a flying butthole. I don't remember what number derogatory is. That's why I'm just saying derogatory. You can look it up with derogatory. I'm going to give Chizu some brushes to convince her to stick around. So apparently I got to bribe the cats to do anything these days. They're not content to just hang out anymore. Now they need pampering more than ever. They have become extremely spoiled. Hey, you little schmuck. You're a spoiled little bitch. And your daddy thinks I'm spoiled. Daddy doesn't know what spoiled is without looking at you two. You're more spoiled than I am. I got a bunch of games, like about 12 specifically, um, punched through still. Got three days left before surgery. So, that'd be four a day. I expect at least four hour streams, if not a little bit more. Because, you know, we got breaks and stuff in between. And opening and ending stuff. The problem with you is if I take off your bandana and your collar, you try to run off. You're like, I'm free! I'm free! I'm fucking free! I'm running away! It was my little alarm clock today. Need him to do the same thing tomorrow because I have to go back. Us. I was uh, trying to get taxes done before surgery. And I thought, because I talked to a bunch of people last year, 
And I was like, I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. And everyone's like, oh, we just use H and R block. So, all right, fine. Oof, I ain't gonna be cheap. And I owe money. I could have fucking done it, from my, done it on my own for about half the price, but I thought maybe there was something special. I guess not. You're done? Well, fuck you. Just, just fuck off, Odo. Really? Uh, needless to say, I'm in a slightly sour mood. I'm trying to get out of it. It's hard. Funk is hard. I'm trying to be more positive and stuff. I'll recover. Yeah, what fucking interest? I didn't earn any fucking interest on it. Well, I'll give you my two cents then. <laughs> there wasn't enough earned income on our savings account or bank account to report it. Just like I'm debating on if I should have even just fucking reported the money I got from PayPal and stuff since they didn't, and Patreon, they didn't send me anything. So, I mean, do I really need to file for it? Odo, those are my shorts. Why are you so weird? Hey! Odo! That is not a toy! He's, uh... over at my rower. It's cheap for such a valuable lesson. As I've mentioned, I got a row machine or whatever. It's not very expensive. But uh, I leave my shorts on it that I use exercise on it since I'm only on there a few minutes a day. I'm still building up strength and stamina. And Odo was just freaked out about the pants, the shorts laying there, even though they've been on there. And then he stretched up and like reached out and grabbed onto the foam covered handle. And it's like, don't you dare put your fucking claws in there, buddy. We're going to have a problem. So you know what? I think that's going to count as complaining because I had to yell at him for being bad in an inconvenient place. Yes, that's not my, just my desk. Playing with things he's not supposed to. Also. <laughs> also inconvenience. Okay. As music plays, today I've got lined up four games. I've got Baron Breakfast, Tiny Kin, Minami Lane, and Seasons After Fall. I think I'm going to do Seasons After Fall last because I think I was supposed to let Gino know when I was going to do it. I think that's the game Gino wanted to know when I was doing. And I know you don't get off work till 3, so... Did that or Endling, and Endling is third Wednesday. I don't remember which one it was, though. But I think it's this one because this one has a fox in it. Um... Baron Breakfast came out like two years ago. It's a cartoon economy life sim, relaxing RPG. You're building... It's a laid-back management adventure game where you build and run a bed and breakfast, but you're a bear. I think that's the easy way to describe it, right? Hey! Hello, real Slavic bear. Or should I call you the... Oh, I forgot what the the Eevee character was called. I saw it somewhere. I saw it somewhere on Blue Sky or your page. I forget. <laughs> M and Beyond. That's what it is. But Bear is fine. Okay. I kind of remember, I was like, it, it's like something with an Eon, but what the fuck was it again? And Beyond. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's rather cute. <laughs> I 
Um, so yeah, that's where we're starting is a barren breakfast. So, uh, game screen. Oh, perfect. The music track just ended. So I didn't have to cut it off. Oh, I think I got this with one of my humble bundle purchases for like cozy shit. I started it this morning, so it shouldn't be that loud. Keywords should not. A minute. Be a little controller. Oh, you're a game dev. I know of you from Wobbly. I just didn't know that you you get a game dev badge. Well, that's cool. It's like, hang on a second. That's a controller. That's 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 not a regular person. That's somebody else ish. This game already did the nice thing of it's your day job. Aha! It is all the, where the volume sliders were, even though I lowered the main thing. So this is yay devs here. <laughs> you started the game the right way. Okay, brightness I think is fine. Celsius. I thought this was cute. Pick Celsius or Fahrenheit. We'll try to do this in Celsius. Auto save weather effects. Controls are quite a bit. We'll figure it out as we play. Hey, jerk face, what are you doing? Are you gonna. Wait, that just told me how to skip cutscenes, just in case I need to know. X, got it. Okay. Because we only got about an hour for each of these today. So what works in game development, but in QA for it? Is that what you just meant by that? Because I've been curious. I forget what it was. I think it's Facebook that told me something. Uh, Facebook had the company and I recognized it because of a game I used to play. I won't call you out or anything. <laughs> Yes, it was ESO. <laughs> I have too many hours in that. You'll always face a book hard to read it otherwise. Wait, do I have this on a shortcut? I do if I hang on. Get into a voice channel so I can do this. I have it on here. Oh, there it is. That was for Hamlin. Really should put that on its own. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear it because the Discord audio is off. Right. Okay. Uh, Discord audio. Try that again. There. Now you should have heard it. Okay. So we're going to give each of these games about an hour, just like we did the other day. So we can at least weigh, hey, should I even bother streaming this at all anymore or whatnot um, after we're done? That sentence had too many syllables. Apologize! That works too. Uh, this would work. That would work. This works. Here we go. That's a really long one. It's like 30 something seconds. <laughs> 
Um... How's that one? You like that one? <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. And of course the... Yeah, that'll work too. And, um... That one works a lot too. It's number four. Call. Did, Fizz, did you start up the bingo or is Ryudo hanging around? I don't know it. You didn't start it? Okay. So Ryudo probably started it and now he's busy with work stuff. Got it. Okay. So let's sit and, and, tr and try to be chill today. Empty slot, except. Because I didn't start bingo or do any of bingo, so. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? Dude, that's a mood. That's my life. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Yep. Mom's going to kill me. No. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. I was playing Bobatro last night on the Switch. I still, I don't think I've gotten past the sixth ante. I was doing pretty good, but I got all fucked up last night. Just couldn't get the... I had some decent card, decent jokers, and then bleh. I don't know if it tells me how many hours I have in the game yet. Can you show me what I have in the game yet? If I go to my profile. Played for five hours or more. Okay. I finally played enough that Switch says they gotta tell me. I was playing it last night while Off was doing his retro achievement for that Skittles game. I don't... I'm not a big programming person, but I will sit there and listen. What, the Skittles game? The dark... Fuck, I pulled it up on my phone last night, but I probably closed the tab. I know me, I probably closed it, right? Yep. It's gone. Except that it had, like, the thing I thought was weird. Yeah, Darkened Sky, thank you. The, uh... The wiki article, or actually not even the wiki article, just like IGN and other ratings still gave it, like, uh... 75 to 80 percent approval rating like people seem to like it <laughs> sporehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away oh it's hoot weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it suddenly a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky and it was gone Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. And there was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. I'm a little bear. Hello. I can't move. Do not. Don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Are you looking for a specific command? Okay. Did that link work? Okay, because I know it got outdated once before. WASD to move around. Oh, that's convenient. He's so cute! Find. 
You mean like an introspective thing? Sleep. Yeah, sure, I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. Well, that's what you're being told to do. Get in the bed, bear. <clears throat> oh, eat and interact. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. Wake. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank! Uh-oh, better see what's up. Okay, well, how do I get out of bed? Just like that, huh? Character. Wait, this is my room in a cave. Why isn't mom nearby? Or do I gotta leave the cave to go find mom? I'm up, I'm up! Margaret. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep besides... Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. All that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. It's kind of the shit my dad would say. Or a dad. Like my stepdad would say that. Did you try thinking less? Shut up, smartass. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. Alright, honey. Basics. While in adventure mode, you can control Hank using the BSD and walk around the world. That bear is so cute. Look at his, like, these arms that are, like, Dangling at his sides. Good. Get out. Morning? Out. It's not a very good morning of you. Nothing good about being up this early. Well, I don't smell any reason to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other hole? Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. What did I tell you? I live for the hunt. How come I never can do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. Will's a pigeon. I'm not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. We won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. We're on his side now? It's morning, we're up. Let's go do stuff. They warned me betrayal never comes from your enemies. I mean, that's not wrong. Enemies don't betray you because that's why they're enemies. Hey, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Pick up items and put them in your inventory? What is denim anyway? Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Ms. M. Ma'am. Did you sleep all right? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right. Point me to the hall. The black moss. What? What? I know. I said no going, going past the fence, but you've all been so good and I need your help. High-pitched screaming A. 
or e I'm not doing voice acting, sorry guys. The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I believe we get to leave this stinking place. I mean, uh, adventure! Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Awesome. Don't lose it again. I've lost it before. I won't. He will. He will. Alright, you three, and remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, Ma. Oh. Can't read what it says. Oh. Oh. Okay, that wasn't like a, I can't read it because you're standing on the wrong side. That was just can't read what it says. Mushrooms! Hey, when did it get dark? A book which is a collectible item. Uh huh. Collectibles are special items you unlock for your character that gives various perks. Find your current unlock collectibles character screen. No access to quest log from the menu bar. Your current quest allows you to track them and find objectives using the arrow indicators. Quest will lead you towards finishing the main story of the game. Finishing the main story of the game will be flagged. Oh, quests which leads you to the okay. A status icons will display over characters. Orange means available, blue means in progress, green means ready. The black hole moss through the thicket. Okay. Two black moss. Three fans find themselves further than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Car Carolinian dog. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. This was like a whooper, whoop, whoop, a quail thing. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, even more so on the inside. And Hank the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, and uh, maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. Oh, and definitely not wander too far in any adventurous fashion. I promise. Hey, how did it get night already? All right, gang, sp spread out. It's so dark. The reason all the jokes about Monday, the reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible is because people only think them up on a Monday. Itchy fur just means more friends to hang out with. Fire screech. What? In the what? I heard it too. We'd better go. We haven't found that thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. But I did! Maybe there's some in the truck. No! Come back!
I mean, I didn't find it. A filter. I thought I picked it up. get to there. Let me go. I'm gonna go over there. Okay, so I can't get to any of these shiny things without going in the cave, I guess. Some big rock. Blocked off by water. Timber crossing. On voyage. It's like, take all. Okay. I probably did the one thing you're not supposed to do. Like, I jumped the gun. <laughs> I'll stay up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. Then I fell asleep halfway through. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Strange shark had a shiny bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. Little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. Nothing worried about that at all. Hello. Our next day experience enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Fun Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-year friend corporation. <laughs> Bullshit. What the... Offering secured touristry, adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. He lost me. Don't think he ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for a vacation of a lifetime. Sorry buddy, I don't have anything expensive or an heirloom. Or a heirloom. Fun Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does it keep saying it like that? Or it's millions of customers all around the valley. We will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit. We we'll offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees, and try to forget whatever they're running from. That's a, that's a good face right there on that bear. 
Right into magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your house or home or house to become a Pond Voyage premium premises, by restoring your primary decorator, bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, sounds like Airbnb. And drastically barely alter your monthly income. Simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark right, I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans? I've barely seen one in months. That's more than enough. Don't you see what this means? Your oddly alarming strength. My foolproof understanding of all things. And spoil sports cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. We have two options. A creep of faith. Sleep the night. Visibility. If you're not a fan of the dark after midnight, you can sleep until following morning. This also advances time. Like to see the inside of most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls. Got it. Can't open this yet. There are no tasks to be done in this area at the moment. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello again. Congratulations, you have been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department, welcome to the family error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details in the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human homes? Well, I used to look at the pictures of houses in the magazines we found. The humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left Sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Reason all the jokes about my days are stood. Da, da. Yeah, why do you have a question? Oh, because I have to go get your quest. Got it. All it's missing is a pick a dick basket. Did it spell it out that way? Just picnic.
don't let me run. No, I have to just... bear I'm strong I can carry anything that's not like a snake hissing fuck I'm sure he's gonna be like, hey man, you gotta give me some stuff. One of the reasons I'm collecting things, because you need things to build with, right? I got a bear. It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh goodness, you can talk. I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mom? Great, listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a... Help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon! Oh, I think Margaret would love that. It's not even taught you how to saw yet. Oh, there's this shark and timber crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish. He says they're bringing... He's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well. I haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as of course you know, everything people make is perfect. I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics, it felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being would come up with all this. Whoa. You make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up the old shack at Timber Crossing. Oh. How wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet, a ladder, oh, and a couple stacks of pine. That shows for me now, will ya? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow! Materials... Right, we've already been doing a lot of that. We'll see again when we need. Oh, E, okay. Split stacks. Ah, uh -huh, scavenging. Starting extra materials in the stash near the pond voyage cart in each area. Oh. So did you find all the wood? Yep, got it right here. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it up off the ground. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. use a beaver. It makes sense. He should know a two or, thing or two about woodworking. I hate it, but it makes sense, you know? That's the biggest crack I've ever seen. I'm just wondering because I'm good at that, you know? I see the take all. Eee! 
kids are peaceful and quiet these days. A little too quiet. Woman? There's a human! And she talked to me and didn't even think anything was strange about bear. Wonder where a tree this big could fit. Right where it is. Fix it. Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're going to use this old shed. I haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look, you decide to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. I already did it. Did you clean up the shed? Yep. Great. Now I'll have to use this whole workbench. What? Well, you can't hammer a nail into thin air, you need some place to make it work. Table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Terrible objects. Yes, I've already seen that. Access. Okay. I don't have loggers tools. Get that workbench fixed. Brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Uh, thanks. Excuse me. Yeah, plenty of time to get better. Now humans got over the cold stone stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. I would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Yeah, this is none of those things, but it'll do. Lots of new crafter. Shabby pallet bed recipe. Awesome. Go make one at the workbench. This pair of the workbench is used to craft and place objects as well as build rooms. Craft functional furniture, use the workbench, and enter the crafting menu. Uh oh. Functional objects are specific to room types and are crafted from materials. Beds give comfort and belong in bedrooms, toilets give hygiene and belong in bathrooms, etc. Done. Exit build mode by using the exit button. Learn your blueprints from questioned or buying them and interacting with them to learn the recipes. Buy the Mart thing as they become available. Just 
Heavy pallet bed recipe, level one. Not be placed in a hallway. Oh, okay. able to make that bed. Yep. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Well, hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put a bed in it. Building rooms. Go to the workbench. Hit the hammer. type from the list. Some resorts only support a limited number of room types. Hold the foot in front of the room until you reach the minimum required size. to remove tiles using the plus and minus button. Every room requires a door to function, but a room have multiple doors and more with the add doors button. Results require mandatory objects in order to function. While you're in build mode, grab your furniture from your inventory and place it in the cabins. You can rotate by pressing R. From building the room by clicking on the check mark, make sure it's not overlapping anything. Your delete rooms so are doing this. Selection outside buildings blueprint. Oh, okay. like I want to move the door here. Put the door here. able to make that bedroom? Yep. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. All right, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. Sure should know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. A little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Burnt desk recipe. After you've made it, just put it down on the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough. mode you can always place furniture object freely without having to build a room first. Some turn button then select a place on the objects. Placed in any resort. 
placed in their room type. I don't know which is the actual front. The bell's on the outside here, so the white line must be the outside. that front desk. Yep, it's there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. Not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are we ever... Are they even gonna like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. I thought to strike you by telling me I got the joint ready. But we don't. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Well, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. Those dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. Bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure is that his mom always said, keep your distance. So much for that. You can now start earning, earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through their front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. Use to manage. Is to manage your resorts. Resort review panel will show you all the active resorts you've discovered. This resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests, and reviews. Bedrooms you build will be listed with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning, new guests will request to stay at your resort. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will have demands for their room. Use the accept button to accept a guest request. Assign the guest a bedroom to stay. Try to match the bedroom scores to the guest demands for better reviews and payouts. You can get more guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments. While you're off on an adventure, in another occasion, your resorts will still run. Ogdan Urs.
soup. Nothing lose, nothing gain. Grab it. Throw. Got a human on the way. Congratulations, you're now on your way to financial independence. Actually, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands as they tend to be pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Oh, alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Uh, I don't... Prestige. Wow. That means the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. Yeah. <laughs> it looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing. By adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Resort's prestige score can be found in the resort panel below. Just about decoration in your cabin. Most object had decoration score, either positive or negative. We don't have anything for decorative items. Oh, that looks icky. How do I get it to prestige level two? decorations. Okay, where do I find decorations? Oh, there's an arrow over here. Okay. There, big fella. Where'd you come from? I live here. Where'd you come from? All right, enough of the questions. The after. That sure sounds like a question. Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make it... make them feel more distinguished. Slop, scrap, rubble? No, I need something exquisite. 
That's where you're wrong, my classical opinion. I got what you need. I stumbled upon the most handsome curator in the, of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me just have a look at that dumpster. Not so fast, bozo. How do I know you can trust? I can trust you. My um, authoritative height? It is in May. We don't trade with just anyone off the streets. My head would be in gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk. life. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? I haven't seen your legs around my buses before. I like your hair. Oh, what a kind-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here, if it wasn't evident. That look at me, of course, it's, it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you, do you take the bus? Skeptical bear noises. I don't see why you would couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I got this letter I've been dying to send. But I can't just leave my buses. There's not been any posts since, well, in years. Probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you can find your way to Sawdust and give this to Beanie for me? She usually hangs around Firewatch Tower. Oh. Her? So, did you find any grub? Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Mmm, just like Mom used to make. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swell. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. If anything else comes at a price. I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. I mean real valuables. Is it shot by new items available for purchase? This dumpster is your one-stop shop for decorative, op decorative objects. Valuables as currency, the world is littered with them, literally. I guess I'll sleep behind garbage that you can collect and use to buy decorative objects from Tuck. Small potted prayer lamp, oil wall lamp. Get one of those plants. Those on the wall. I don't know if I actually need any of this, but not, you know. Got all this garbage I've picked up already.
How come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time dumpster diving. I really didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. It was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran after, around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed to pass the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? It's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folk hissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demands and my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. Especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. Tell you what, since you're fixing up the little shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? We used to flock around the place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me, I am raccoons. Just getting the hang of it, this sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is one done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distanced. People know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what kind of goods we'll have in the shop. There's light! Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Cat looks a bit sus. It's not a cat. Look, I have it here in good third at the kiosk up there is our next best bet at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? And what authority is that exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was a jewel of timber crossing. It's one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular thing. A what? So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money, right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea, as usual. My son, student... Yes, that's what I said. 
take it back, you don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble, and then we'll get to building. Already did. So all clean. All sparkling. Wonderful. If I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans look for in a kiosk. Make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I need to get all together. Need a bit of human literature. I got a book from back when we, home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the old bus driver might ha have one on his little bus shack. Great, treasure hunt. Take your time, I'll put everything to put together everything else in the meantime. Take your time. Carpet Prestige is principal proof of prominent plot. Looks a little better now, I think. Congrats, you've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. That's 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Congratulations, it seems your first property has come along nicely. But you're earning the equivalent tips of a door to door salesman. Represented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Fond Voyage degree, pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Okay. I'll go to sleep at night because I'm tired of everything being dark. That's been an hour. I'm kind of curious to, to delve into it further, to be honest, which is pretty cool. Um, capture off the game and hope we don't crash anything. Usual, if I do, I'll be right back. Still here, I think. Yes, okay. So far, so good. Need to I 
Hit refresh on that. Now this had some little stuff that it was... It ran through the story. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit new game. So I was like... Yes, I noticed both cats were back. Oh. Boom, cat. <laughs> Chizu's eye opened up like, oh. Move the brush. Yes, we got them. That's, that's beans. And that's a leggy above the head. Hey, cutie pie. Oof. Did we do anything else yet? Didn't make anything. I told any stories. We do that. He's so cute. Are you just that out of it? How rude! Calm his little, uh, spicy ass down a little bit there. Oh, you got to give me a yawn? Leave your belly alone. You're lucky. Uncle Gino is saving you from being yelled at. You can't remove your stump any more than it is. Leave it alone. She's saying, hold my catnip. Also, hello, Gino. What was the game I was supposed to tell you when I was going to play? It was the Seasons After Fall or Endling? Okay. Oh, we're going to get to that today. At least for an hour. 
I made sure to hold it off until later because I was like, I think this is the one because it's got a fox in it, but I could be wrong. It could be the other game. I'm only going to give it an hour today because I'm just trying to punch through these things so I know what we're coming back after surgery and when April starts, uh, you know, what I'm coming back with. So it was like a demo day. Okay. First off. Shizu, Uncle Juno said give you pets. So you're gonna get some pets. You didn't have to get up for them. You're just getting pets right now, sweetie. Give Mr. Cranky Ass some pets. He didn't like that I just woke him up. Oh, wow. Just like that. Gino wins. Soto was sleeping and then I kind of woke him up and he wanted to bite me. He's a little bit of a piss pissy boy right now. Be nice to me now because I got the cookies. I don't think you deserve any cookies. It's something worth waking up for. <laughs> can't argue with that. It's great to wake up and there's food waiting for me. And then Saturday happens and I have to be the one that wakes up and gets the food ready. I have a third fish. This next game is Tiny Kin. Now we need to bring this window over here. Uh, it's about a year and a half old. Catch hundreds of Tiny Kin and use their unique powers to bring Milo back to his home planet and back to normal size. Uh, what is this? Cute 3D platformer action adventure cartoony. Oh, 3D platformer? Okay, I need to... I feel like this is Pikmin-ish. This game. Welcome to the chat room. Hi, thank you. Turned on my controller and... Things thought about it for a second here. Oh, Twitch wide problem? Imagine that. So we're gonna do a new game because it had like a whole little opening sequence. I'll figure this is best so everybody 
beautiful planet shining with life, the home planet of humanity, according to what they teach in school. Nowadays, I'm the one teaching. I'm Maladane, an archaeologist and researcher in the most prestigious university in the world, and this is Nevis, my assistant. <laughs> I've studied relics, artifacts, and fossils, and my conclusion is clear. Humans do Excuse not you. originate from ages, but somewhere else. Our true home planet awaits us, far beyond the stars. During my research, I came across an ancient signal, clearly of human origin, emanating from a nearby galaxy. Since that discovery, I've been preparing to go and meet the originator of the signal. We've explored each planet from pole to pole, and now we found it. It's decided. Nevis and I will go to this mysterious planet to uncover the secret of humanity's origins. Oops. Ten of absent mandibles atrophied. Hey you, you're finally awake. You came out of nowhere. I was worried you might never wake up. You seem to be okay. Okay, sorry I've never met any one of your species. Do you need orientation? Set up something to help you find your way and get used to the equipment. Do feel free to have a look, okay? Alright, I'll leave you, leave you some time to get up to bearings. I'll see you a bit further ahead. This is kind of a cute mix. Okay, so we do control the camera with one finger. That is very Pikmin. I've only played like demos of Pikmin. Next is jump. It's very useful. Here, give it a try. Use R to look around. That's well. Press and hold X connection to deploy your bubble glider. Mexico. All oh, right, I forgot to start the timer for this one. But we will take a break when we have to this time, and we'll come back to this. That thing, if that thing is holding up that book while standing on your stomach, I'd rather the book go <laughs> Yeah, his little pokey legs there, that must have hurt. So apparently what I'm trying to do is the way to go. I just... Can't figure out how? 
I got a friend and I don't know what to do with him. You didn't tell me how I'm supposed to do this, though. Come on, little guys, I want up. Yeah, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get up. I haven't been able to float over. Oops. Oh, now I make it. 1990 to 1991? Wait, the tiny kin are following you? How? They normally wander around the house and ignore everyone, but they seem to like you. Tiny kin have fascinating capabilities. I may have finally found someone who can use them. For example, pink tiny kinners. This is Pikmin. This is basically Pikmin. It feels like they're strong as they can push and carry objects. Together they can carry even the heaviest of objects. That'll come in handy. Follow me. See this flower pot? If you throw a pink tiny can in it, they can probably move it on blocked passage. My research has shown that an object of great importance was locked under the great staircase, but that's but there's no way in.
it without the squishy sounds, I can assure you of that. Lift triggers let you hold a tiny can, then you have to aim and use R trigger to throw it where you want. I already figured that out. Whoa, that water's cold. Oh, that's It's Pikmin! Oh, is it? No, it's not break time yet, but I will take some water. Way is clear. Get, Go get that component I told you about. I'm a stretching. Hope everybody's having a good day. Also, hello, Raven. Music stops when I alt tab. That's annoying. Do, 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 do. Disconnected from chat. Trying to reconnect. Hi. <laughs> That's just what comes to mind. Oh, get that component I told you about. That's what we said, right? Yeah. Now that I know this is like a Pikmin game, I'm probably going to enjoy it. I just haven't just wanted to pay the money for Pikmin. <laughs> oh, right. Way is clear for the component. Something, something. Bye, Ardwin, the first component. If only you knew how many years I've waited for this. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm rid me. We'll make a great team. Milo Dane, right? Come on in, I'll explain everything. Soul Workshop, Refuge of Knowledge, Isolated Retreat is home to a handful of eccentrics. I was able to actually read it before it loaded. Amazing. Welcome to my humble abode, Milo. 
See that schematic on the wall? Once upon a time, being known as Arwen lived in this house. Wise and good, many consider him as a deity. I think he was more of a sage. I believe the schematic was drawn up by Arwen himself in order to assemble a machine that could go beyond the house. I spent my whole life trying to find the components, and thanks to you, we've managed to collect one already. I've managed to locate the five others, but getting them won't be that easy. Your transportation device is damaged and you need to go home, don't you? In that case, you have no other choice than to help me. Haha. <laughs> oh, and I have some friends to introduce you to. Prattle, the Ardwin Museum curator, a real never-ending pit of knowledge. These guys are actually 3D, though. These aren't 2D bugs, these are 3D bugs. It's Carter the Nectar Brewer, who travels mountains and valleys. You should go and talk to them at some point. But these two are 2D. I mean, just look at his arm when it's flapping. It's got nothing to it. The house is big and you'll get tired walking around. I wasn't able to save your soap board, but I found a replacement. Take it. You can use it to slide wherever you want and get a lot faster. It takes a little practice, but I'm sure you'll love it. Hold R1 to slide around with your soap board. Try it out. See how it works. See you up top. Oh, I almost forgot. This is Durable Furball, one of my assistants. Not very talkative, but very diligent. Use your soap board to slide along their silk strings and join me. You look 3D. Milo does not. So you're fully operational. Come with me. I know where we should start looking. Second point we need to find is the banner located in the city of Sanctar. This way, Milo. Go through here as soon as you're ready. These corridors are homes to no one, a place of passage for merchants and travelers. Here's the entrance to Sanctar. Oh! Haha. <laughs> Place sacred pill burger dedicated to Great Ardwin. And this is where we're going to do that whole. Oh, right. I got to take a break. Let's pop over to here real quick. So, hey, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. I'm Jim Poo, variety streamer and artist. Try to have a chill time here at Most Cozy Games. Um, today, we're doing another stint of try out a bunch of games for an hour. Uh, we're currently on Tinykin. We did Baron Breakfast earlier. Next we'll do, after this hour is up, we'll go to Minami, and then Seasons After Fall is the last game we'll touch today. Um, yeah, I do stream five days a week. I hope you're enjoying what I do here and decide to drop 100% free and anonymous follow. Uh, so feel free, you know, like, you won't get called out. It's cool. And we have cats. It's Chizu. Who sleeps with her eyes open a lot. It's just creepy. But I'm going to take about a five minute break. You should too. Get up, stretch, refresh your water, get yourself something else, drink some caffeine, chocolate. I don't know. Or don't. I'm not your parent. I'll see you guys in about five.
All right, I'm back. And you should be back from the ad break too. I forgot to call this before when Odo went and GTFO'd. Guess he really didn't like being touched. Okay. Are you the burfer? Burfer Chizu? Right, that's what we said before. Banner belongs to the Pio Shiva named Solaria. The subject is very important to her, and she won't give it up easily. It's very key to the sanct her sanctor. Obtained through totally legitimate means. Here. Counting on you, and I can't wait to see all the things you'll do with the Tinykin. Fantastic. Onwards. Okay. You can die. Water bear. We learned I can die. I got smushed. Hey, they're following me. These guys are 2D. Look, 3D. Well, that's impressive. Ah, to be back in Sanctar. Congratulations, companions, and the expedition has borne. Okay, congratulations, companions. The expedition has borne fruit. What a haul! So many unknown objects and this strange relic. 
Hi everyone, I feel it's what we need to complete our quest. Hard to say, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. It is indeed about time we've solved the mystery of the canticle echoing through our minds. Generations upon generations of shield bugs and Arduin himself are counting on us. The Sanctar, a land consecrated by the melody of Arduin's canticle. Only the shield bugs can hear his voice. Strange, isn't it? Mystery resists all attempts to solve it. Any help you can offer will be appreciated. Speaking of mysteries, our missionaries just discovered something. A large round relic. Go take a look. If you miss it, you must be blind. Ha ha. That banner, not gonna be easy. Broadcast Iron's canticle to make it accessible to everyone, but how? Something tells me this large circle is the key. The CD. I don't know why this little shield bug nearby is so excited. He looks sad. Ain't gonna lie, sliding around on soap's kind of fun. I just lose them all together. Well, now I feel bad. I didn't want to kill the guys.
That's a joke. Half a dozen egglets for a single loaf of bread? I'm surprised these days, hardly any goods are coming in from Ambrose. What little flour I got? Be glad I could still make good bread. Good bread, the food of the Golden er Ergo, has always been barely edible. On top of that, it's overpriced, I'm going to go trade somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, when you come back to beg me for forgiveness, don't show up without a good dozen egglets. We're in an economic crash, prices are going up. You with the messy hair, I'm not gonna let a runt like you enter the homes of honest seniors without knocking first. Don't worry, my Piggly Wiggly. He looks weak and feeble. A whack with my pin and then I'll crush him flat like a pancake. <laughs> yes, I bounce off their head. Hello, young larva. No place for your last shed is... Rest home for old, worn-out insects who want to end their lives near Ardwin. <laughs> no mail today, buddy. Yeah. Hey, pal, you don't just show up at the post office and expect the counter to be open, do you? Well, yes, I do. Tyler, have you seen the tardigrade drawing on the relic the shield bugs found? The same as the one above the cupboard where the cryptic machine is. They'll work it out soon. Better leave them be. Be cautious, traveler. I don't know what any of this stuff is supposed to do. lady with whom I was spending delightful time at the fragile told me that of her misadventure one of her most precious gems had fallen into this image box like Nigel oh, would you mind getting in there and turning the machine back on it's on the way to get the gem out point to tool up there will most likely help you open the box my opinion you would need a good two bubbles of flight to reach it Better if I were not seen snooping around. Bring me the gem if you find it. before I can even make use of them.
it just gives me goop. Still haven't figured out what this goop is about. Guess you can't go in there. It's my daughter Melody. Can't pick her up because she didn't show up for dinner. She was around here keeping this old piano in tune, but she should have been home by now. I'm really starting to get nervous. I have to stay here in case she shows up. Hustle. Someone knows something about her disappearance. There's a restaurant not far away that Felix. Maybe they saw something. Or the Felix. I thought it was probably just doing something. They do that. They don't tell you what it is they're doing. Dodo show show we do 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 do. so many things to do. At least two full bubbles. Okay. You got two.
I started to toggle the augmented, re augmented reality on your glasses. Oh, okay. Toggle. I love them. I have. Why have you been staring at that thing all this time? Do you have a problem with staircases? What are you talking about? It's beautiful. Those colors, the nuances, depth. Depth. All I see is blues and yellows. Are you sure you're okay? You poured Dumas in your eyes again, didn't you? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. It's perfect. Or almost. There's a little something missing. A seventh color. Khaki green, maybe? That's the name of another shady yellow, I imagine. Sure, why not? Have fun, sweetie. I'm just doing stuff. I've really lost track of what I'm supposed to be doing, then I just do things. Did you hear that, sir? It says there's a monster in there. So I'm running out of the hole and blacked it up and ran away shining mommy.
What, the plush? Cute, but I ain't a monster. Froggy. I am sad. I didn't get to thunk it and make noise. Small drawing of Ardwin to hang on the wall as an offering. Don't dirty the walls. Spires, but your spice is pretty nice. Sure, it's a temple. That's uh, totally accurate. Yep. Everyone's in the house serve a flavorless sludge brewed with whatever they find. So hear me out. Hauling around here, it sings. One of the many needs a brewed beat. So harmonize the mix as long as you bring me the pollen balls from across the sanctar. Thousand pollen balls should do nicely, finely tuned vintage, and of course you'll have an appropriate reward. Oh, so I do want all of them. Okay. to kill all these little guys to do it. Oh, no, this is a problem with this. And now I'm down to six of these little guys. of all the candles in the room. Oh, okay. There you go, it made the noise. pollen balls. Oh, you guys are neat. Gloria and Arden and the Priestess. Ardwin. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Raven, I didn't notice. The game's interesting. I'm sorry. Oh, 
I just don't even know who you're freaking glorifying. did and it was like oh hey you did this other thing and here's another oh the frog here's more yummy goodies for you remember I can move faster congrats on being back at first That, that's right. Technology or suit probably won't react well to it. full of pollen. Right, there was a screwdriver I had to get.
Still in math, the museum can teach me how to read this. Book's impossible, darling. Prattle still knows the meaning of certain signs because they were repeated to him and he's a bit weird. What about Rosetta? Uh... I don't like to be mean, but there seems to be a struggle with a few symbols on Tesla's and Edison's machines. Well, maybe books are super important. Look, try it if you want, but also think about getting some fresh air. I wouldn't want to go, want you going silly with all that reading. What's wrong with reading? This is an adorable game and I want to play more, but I do have to get through everything else. Because this is fun! Do that. Hopefully not crash. Uh oh. Usually my screen flashes, it means I'm gonna crash. Nope, not this time, okay. Alright. Tinykin is definitely wanna play it more. Oh, we've seen this game before here because we played the demo. And then Mutt went and got it for me. We played this a few weeks ago during the next fest thingy. It's a little city, minor, minor city thing. <laughs> this is the right way to say it. There we go. One thing after another, is it today, phone? late today or did I just run over time on everything? Almost feel like I started late. But I don't think I did. Almost three hours into stream and only starting the third game when I was supposed to. Yeah. Taking my meds, Dad. I was actually already pulling them out of the container before you did that. Thank you, Ryudo. I hope your day is good. Wasn't expecting the ding. 
that's too loud. Yeah. Well, maybe it is when I think about how loud four o'clock was. But if it's not that loud, I won't notice it when I'm playing Power Wash, and then you all will be like, oh, it didn't work, didn't fool them, didn't fool her. Nope, it needs to stay at that volume. Did you win? You win at life? Awesome. Click. Welcome to the land. You're here to help me, right? The street is so sad and empty. I'm sure, having a boba cafe here would transform into a vibrant neighborhood. Let's do this. Objective: Have 15 villagers and 75% satisfaction. Build a boba shop. Win 10 to 12 days or less is optional. Add a building. They wanted me to make a boba. Oh. I have to unlock the boba. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. It has requirements before we can do anything. people. Oh, you can only build one thing. Wait, I forgot to tell you something important. If you click on villagers, they tell you what they think. Might have interesting things to say. They're not going to have much to say. Overall satisfaction in the pooper. Shops can have this roof. Uh, green and white. Okay. Uh, how did we do this last time? They didn't get pissed off because I made it too expensive. No shrimp. Extra noodles. Let's just give it extra noodles to start with. Profit fifty percent. Like more noodle in my ramen. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> more egg, more noodle. More noodle, more egg. Okay. trash we're fine with the price okay
<laughs> more noodle, more egg, more profit for me. Let's see what you have to say. Perfect. Okay. All oh, right. I need to name it. I want to name it a noodle shop. Wait, wait. We called it Send Nudes or something last time, right? low. shop. Oh. Grats, 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 shop. Creative. Ooh, 
need a ton of sugar. Needs lots of tapioca. Recipe. Less tapioca? More sugar. More sugar. Yucca. Oh crap, there was trash on the ground. Sugar, less tapioca. See how they won't feel about paying one more dollar. Perfect recipe. Complaining about the price, everything's perfect. Feels fair. Feels fair. Oh, they didn't like that, that I raised the price a buck. You shouldn't litter around the fucking neighborhood that I have to clean it up. Okay, spacebar will pause it as well. Incoming ad break for those not subbed or bypassing or nitroed or anything. Nitro turboed. Damn, I'll never get it right. satisfaction dropped a little bit because it's not pretty enough. Oof. We got poo-pooed on the price here. Okay. 
guess I gotta drop down the price to make everybody happy again. Probably build another park, I guess. just overall satisfaction so if the shop price goes up I don't have to build anything else oh the more people you have the more beauty you need so our choices are another park These trees and that color. Do do and stuff and things and stuff and things. What are you talking about? Feels low. I love that it's so affordable. Hi. Perfect. 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 Come on, you can do it. We're at 74. What is so hard about hitting 75? I demand you be satisfied. There we go. We are satisfied. Whoa, that water's cold. Exactly. Satisfied or get my foot up your ass. the trash to pick up. That sentence had too many syllables. Oh. Apologize. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? My sentence didn't have too many syllables. I'm not apologizing. Too many syllables. Apologize. Oh, it's that sentence had too many syllables. Apologize. Looking at my thing, I'm like, uh, what's what's a good one here? Okay, I got a blanket wrapped around me. I'm cold. I put the blanket on. I'm warm. I take the blanket off. I'm cold. Fucking a. Wow, great job! Look how happy everyone is. Let's move on to another street. Okay. Probably have to do this a little bit shorter just so I don't run too late today. Only old people live here. Oh, we did this in the demo. 
And they told me they want to, they would love that to change. Can you make the street livelier by attracting younger neighbors? Nine buildings are left, more use than elders. 80 and earn 250. Yeah. I have different tastes. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, so you need to. Well, the old people like their food this way. Like the old days. Keep its name. This is old people home, isn't it? Elder Mansion Park Modern Home. Mostly youth. Mostly old. We need the youth. I said homes get this roof. Ramen shop has that roof, so it has to be this roof. Bright color, yeah, that's good, just like that. Upgrade for beauty or upgrade for stars. I come in, I raise the prices. I'm landlord. By the way, you can't please everyone with only one ramen. Must be a way to make both young and villagers hap happy. Yeah, you build a second shop. Oh, and Constantine win. shrimp in the ramen. Or pork. The shrimp. So I have to open a second ramen shop because you guys gotta be picky little pains in my butt. I haven't even looked at the uh, bingo card. says I haven't won anything yet. Well, people are just fine with that. Okay, we'll fix. Get you some better ramen, don't worry. Don't worry, youngins. Don't upgrade your buildings. First thing I need to do, build a ramen shop. For the kids. It has like three noodles and two porks. No, no. They like the two eggs last time. This is... Some nudes. Or whatever it was we called it.
That one should be that. Feels low. I love that it's affordable. Wait, wait. Even know where you live. I see old people coming from the new people, the young people's house. Young people coming out of the old people house. More noodle. More noodle. More no. Jeez. Satisfied with the price. More fucking noodles, huh? Well, you gotta pay for more noodles. Can't you tell me what they said? It's not being able to pin it, but I don't believe you. Restaurants. Oh, you gotta save it. We don't like the higher price, is what you're telling me. <laughs> Fucking children. like the right earth for a bookstore. Let's go novels. 
comic book. Travel guide. Store. Price feels fair, I just wish it was cheaper. It's too cheap. I don't trust it. fair. The price hasn't changed. Arr. Satisfaction went down even though money I I You guys want the food to be even cheaper. don't like the selection you don't care about the price okay a perfect recipe nobody said anything bad about the recipes taking away one of your eggs then your price will go down. Haha. -ha. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Screw travel guides. We're doing learn something book. Drop that a little bit. I need to make a profit on everything. Oh, wait. You said it's too cheap. I don't trust it. I don't know what she bought, though. Oh, comic book is too cheap. Okay. Fine. Raise the price of comics. Thanks to, thanks to this old lady. Pearl. Airy people, you can blame Pearl for the prices, not me. She doesn't trust my shop, so I have to. I made absolutely no changes to your fucking ramen. I liked. Yeah. Hi. 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 I miss any other trash? All right, our satisfaction went up. That's fine.
need money to do anything more. The first complaint about the recipe, well, they could suck it. park and then we'll upgrade everything else as we move on of course need more money to do more stuff one two three stuff I liked. Oh, we got the happiness up. Now we just need to make 250 bucks. Have more young people. Really need is more like 300 bucks, but upgrade their house. Put some more people into the game. too happy about selection here. Has anyone been buying the novel? I'll be rid of the novel and make a fantasy novel instead. The same profit. Everything make three bucks. You little litter bug. Bookstore. It's bookstore one. Hi. I love complaining about shit. Venting is my favorite pastime. like the selection at all by putting fantasy novels in there instead of regular novels. Fuck. Jesus Christ, children. Thought y'all would be more into fantasy. Like, wait a second, why why did that sound do that? That doesn't feel right. What's wrong? Something's wrong. I am so I don't know. You guys are happy. What if I 
Raise the price by one. I'm not adding a building, you can suck it. Can't afford those upgrades. Can't afford those upgrades. Can't afford your upgrades. Elders than youths right now. I'm very adventurous in my colors. people I'm so happy to live here it's fucking adorable when the people litter but two things I like I bought a comic it's great expensive. Okay. Like more egg. Feels expensive. One decoration can make it perfect. Just went to the bookstore, bought some things. I want egg. Oh, that wasn't Overthink too much. I'll have to think about it. Yeah. Hi. Price feels low. So we apparently made some people unhappy today. Maybe the suggestion is to have two bookstores and carry everything. Send news once more. You guys didn't like pay more. What if we remove a shrimp? And still keep my, uh... My profit. You're supposed to do this with... Nine buildings or less. Okay, so if I had a second bookstore... It's the last building I can add. Hang on, I gotta take a call.
I, I feel kind of dumb right now. So, I took a call. As I took the call, I'm looking around my desk going, where's my phone? I need to look at something on my phone, not even realizing it's on my head. I'm holding it in my fucking hand. I'm fucking old. Comic book, manga, travel guide. I never named the other bookstore. You don't need comics here. You get the fantasy novel, and everybody means... This one's aimed at the old people, so let's just jack the prices up. The other one's aimed at the, young, aimed at the younger people. Should I like? supposed to make and beat this beat this level we're good damn princess got one more game to get through satisfied, huh? We noticed you took away our shrimp. <laughs> we noticed you're charging us more for books. Sheesh. Ah, shrinkflation, yo. Alright. So, around here 
is okay. This woman didn't like it when I removed the shrimp. I'm gonna add the shrimp and I guess remove the one dollar I jacked up last time. In language book I want moved up, but the other one's fine. More youth than elders, got it. We've earned, we just need to make people happy. And those few changes I made will probably help, but... One sends 100 to make prettier by plus one. Plus five beauty for 300. Three beauty for 200. see that. There. Just shows the speed of the camera, the time, and the day. Are we littering today, people? This needs to go up. Come on. Happier. Need happy people. Get satisfied on. the trash in the yeah, road that one of you likely dropped. Right. Feels fair. It's perfect. There we go. Make people happy with the ramen again. dollar sign on your head. That's usually telling me you think something costs too much. Okay, I win. Yay! Great job! This neighborhood feels a lot livelier now. Where are the cats? People told me they missed them. I heard they only hang out in the cute little streets. This one looks terrible. Need some serious makeover. Start by recycling useless buildings, then beautify your street. Maybe some cats will come. They offer services such as recycling or customizing. It might be handy to complete your mission. Okay. Cats are unlocked. This did not exist in the other one. wait for another day because we are at about three minutes left of this game so okay, so I've got three scripts what the hell three
know of two. What was the other one she was doing? Oh, I'm getting prescription strength of ibuprofen tablets. I'm getting horse pills. Must liquidate in three minutes. <laughs> come back to you another day. Oh, you can hide the UI with the P key. There's also a sandbox version of this game. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I'm still here. Okay. He's already yawned. All right. And the last one is... Didn't I change that, Minami? Okay, I did. I have to refresh this thing sometimes because it's weird. Refresh, we're switching to the other game. Okay, good. So, let's look at the bingo real quick. I didn't scream, didn't have that. Yeah, we're going to consider that I forgot. Because I forgot I was holding my phone while I was talking on it. And I started panicking going, did I leave it at the tax prep office this morning at 10 o'clock? No, that doesn't make any sense. I couldn't have done that. I'm swimming in my head. Even though I'm being told to drink, I'm still not doing it. I mean, I am doing it when I've been told to, but I'm not remembering to do it otherwise. Same old Jim Poo, same as it ever was. Okay, you're going to open up on the right window this time. Good. I know a lot has to do with when you fill out your I-9 or whatever, whatever deduction thing you chose has a lot to do with, hey, are you getting money back or are you not? And my understanding was when you claim the one, I think, I think it's one or something like that. You end up owing money, but you don't pay as many taxes. And when you claim zero, you pay more taxes, but you never owe <laughs> overall. I don't know how it works. Tax does not. Th this is, of course, like, you know, 20 plus year thoughts in my head that I don't even know if they're true. Also, congrats, Mutt. Dipping good. Still ain't winning. Oh well. Yeah, and I've always claimed zero, which is why I've like never 
code until recently. And that might actually change tomorrow. Because I had to call the marketplace today and have them give me information for a form that I need for taxes. Even though it was only one month of health insurance, it may make a difference. So we'll see what happens. That's the case when this year comes around. Since we'll have basically paid the whole year of insurance, maybe things will be nicer. <laughs> Alright, so this is, this is a game I don't remember if I already owned it or something, but Gino seemed to have... Uh, Gino had praise for it, so... I think you're a fox, and it's puzzles and platforming. The volume's probably too low. I hear. That doesn't look like a fire, so I don't know. thought going down would be the right way. Just these brightly colored things. When I bounce into one, it disappears. They make the trees open up. I bark at them.
is on the surface. In theory, he has an advantage over you. He can get a benefit from his money all year, then pay it back. Meanwhile, the government holds your money and gets interest from it all year and gives it back to you. The amount is probably not big enough to make a matter for normal people. Yeah, it was something like that. Thank you. Ah, here you are. You took a long time to wake up, little seed. If the guardians were here, they'd give you serious reprimand. If you sleep too much, one day you'll lose yourself in your dreams and never wake up again. Yeah, that's exactly what the guardians would say. But luckily for you, I'm here to greet you today. And I'm much younger than them, so I won't lecture you. <laughs> Hey, our second guest has arrived earlier than expected. Let's see who it is. Little Seed, in honor of this special day, may I introduce your present? Oh, a wild fox. Ugh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. I would have preferred a smarter and better looking animal. A wolf, maybe. Still, you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll make do with this one. I'm a seed. And there's a him. Don't be afraid. Gently. Hey, not too close. You'll frighten him. Let him come to you. That's it. Now entice him to the center of the sanctuary. That's it. Into the center. Just a little further. This fox is really slow. Come on, we're not going to eat you. Perfect. Stay there, little seed. Leave the rest to me. And hey, presto. Now you have a body, you'll be able to visit the Guardians of the Seasons. I have no choice. I must stay here. So, where do I start? Hmm. Oh, I know. If you follow this path to the east and travel beyond the tall grass, you'll come to the edge of the woods. This is the domain of the Guardian of Winter. It has something I need, and you alone can get it for me. You'll realize what it is when you see it. I lost I track of remembering <laughs> to hit the start timer. I don't know how long it's been, so we'll choose that timer. Off you go, little seed. Run, jump, enjoy your new body. You won't ever get lost. I'll always be watching over you. Enjoy my body, huh?
can't jump any higher. Bark, jump, move, power of the seasons. I did that right? I don't know. You see these totems lining the path? They were sculpted by the Guardian of Winter. Interesting, aren't they? But it can't have been easy with such big paws. Don't say too much about them when you see the Guardian. It might get upset. sleeping amongst the totems. Follow them. They'll lead you to its lair. Maybe I fucked up somewhere. I don't know what those pots are about. Oh, that's the guardian. Is bear.
Oh, I see B. Since you're on the way back, little seed, with a fragment of winter. I think it's trying to communicate with you. It may react if you bark. Bark twice if it's a bit deaf. You really amaze me. You're quicker than I thought. Just goes to show, you can't judge a book by its cover. The fragment's heading towards the sanctuary. Don't let it out of your sight. Let's get out of your sight. It's faster than me. Can I help you? the Guardian of Winter told you anything. Ugh, you have to excuse it, it's always very tired. And, between you and me, a tad grouchy too. The Guardian is so bad-tempered that even the animals don't venture into this forest. I did. The Guardians may appear wise, but basically, they're very old. So old that they tend to talk rubbish. But luckily, they're here to protect the fragments. They just have to learn how to let go of them. Yes, kids.
Goofed up. Oh, that's not good. Look, little seed. The fragment's already in place. It's waiting for you. Move into the center. Go on. Don't be afraid. I am afraid. I don't know what any of this is. Talking about guardians and grumpy people and stuff and making them give up something they're guarding. Okay. I'm going to have to separate you from the fox. The fragment may react violently during the merge process. I'll be as careful as I can, but it's still a tricky procedure. I think it would be best for the fox to get out of the way. You don't care about the fox. So we're all like, the fox is a stupid little creature. We don't care about it. A wolf would have been better, but this will have to do. Yeah, it's been so long since we've seen snow here. Now, it's winter for good. Well, here's someone who sure hates ceremonies. You should possess the fox again before he escapes. Listen, little seed. There are four seasons, four guardians. If you merge with the other seasons, you can invoke them at any time. But to do that, we need the fragments. The second guardian lives in a swamp further to the west. I should warn you, this one doesn't like visitors. So keep nice and quiet. Yeah, it's that way. Straight ahead. Keep quiet, huh? So no borking. This may surprise you, little seed, but I envy you. I too would like to run, feel the wind on my face, and the ice under my paws. But I can't, not until we found all the fragments. We must have them to perform the ritual. Ritual of the Seasons. That's what the Guardians call it. I don't know what it entails exactly, but I've often heard the Guardians talk about it. The Ritual of the Seasons can change the course of a life. If that's true, it means my life can be transformed, and yours too. I could leave the Sanctuary at last, and you could... I don't know. All your dreams could come true. You must have some. Dreams. Do I?
What? Beware, Little Seed. You're about to enter the territory of the Guardian of the Fall. It can be unpredictable. Watch out it doesn't harm you and your fox. When you hear the whistling of the wind, the Guardian can't be far away. But be very careful. I've gathered it's a bird of some sort, I guess. Ah, yes. He just gave it up. understand. Thank you. 
know what you are, but I thought you were a bug. Oh, Odo's there. He's just on camera. He's like right outside the edge. It's okay. The Guardian of the Fall has finally gone back to sleep. You're safe now. Follow the fragment it gave you. It will know the way to the lake. I didn't need two of them. But it was a lurker. But some. Um... Bug on the ground exploding, leaving the one attached to the branch still floating there. Oh. Hey, for all I know, I, I, I break shit, so...
of impressed. You're pretty brainy for such a little seed. And you'll see, once you've absorbed this second fragment, you'll be even smarter. I don't know about that. As I walk into a wall. a very tiny fox. Like, very freaking micro. Because... I mean, I can hop on a leaf. As before, I'm gonna rip your little soul out of his body. I we're gonna drop it back in. Everything's dying. Season. We could enjoy this moment if only your fox would keep still. I don't think he likes us using him to do this, but he's the only animal we have available. We're only halfway there, so he'll have to put up with us for a while longer. Maybe you should try to reassure him. I guess it's the other way. But at least he likes you. That's something. I promised you, little seed. Now you have absorbed two seasons. You can invoke them at any time. Each season is unique and transforms everything around it. Don't hesitate to use the power of the seasons anywhere and as many times as you want. So, little seed, which region would you like to explore now? You're spoilt for choice. But may I make a suggestion? You could use the power of the seasons to reach the entrance to this cave. Just a suggestion. You can go anywhere you want. What cave? A cellar is a mushroom. That's a mushroom. Oh, I see. You have to pick left or right.
sure I can swim, but... Well done, little seed. You have now mastered how to use the power of the seasons. What a stroke of luck. The third guardian is just beyond this cave. So, little seed, off you go. No time to waste. It's beyond this cave, huh? Oh, that just gets us back up where we are. Okay. Oh, right thumbsticks doing that. Okay. That's where I came from, but I guess I'm wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Oh, you don't... I need that back. How do I get it back? Got a new kind of friend. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's not 3D. Know how lovely that works for me. Are you sure you're 
heading in the right direction. I don't know. You tell me, lady. I'm just here doing your bidding. The gap down below is much wider than it looks. I'm not sure if your fox can jump far enough to get across. I'm not sure my little fox what can I'm do it anyway. Easily put off. You're right. If you can't solve a problem with brute poor force, use your head instead. you're close to the exit if they allow you to pass of course Understand. Is this the exit? Okay. Slightly understand.
Okay, okay. Something to plant you in. Yes. This is where we picked up the fireflies, though, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't mean to do that. Can't be the right way. I mean, time's up. But kinda, more or less. You knock one down, the other one goes up. Oh. There was no real purpose to what I just did. Okay, I got it. Okay. 
This river was full of salmon back then. But they're extremely rare today, and I think I know who's responsible. Oh. This guy. This catfish arowana looking bugger. That's not what I was trying to do. Good night, Rex. Thank you for hanging out today. Let me guess, that makes it go short enough, okay. Trying to get to back to the sanctuary. Can I do it fast enough? Or do I have to travel through everything all over again?
and Freggy. The third fragment. <laughs> it was almost too easy. The Guardian of Spring can't have put up much resistance. You should have seen it before. Always ready to play and frolic among the waterfalls. We used to get along really well. But it's grown listless over the years, like the other Guardians. Very sad, but that's how it is. As powerful as they are, the Guardians have their weaknesses too. Much fun when you gotta backtrack this far, you know. Feel right. Don't feel that I was that high up. I wasn't. Okay. to at least no I didn't mean to do that no no snooze is what I was trying to do fuck <laughs> I hit the wrong buttons uh, and it counted my snooze anyway fuck me Like the thing's just this button that says three of three. I think that's the snooze and not remembering. I saw three and a button and fuck me. Well, I can't really apologize because anybody that I need to apologize to can't hear me right now. <laughs> Is this the way out?
This is way back in. Oh. Oh. It's like when I dislike songs today because Google swaps the like and dislike buttons on the videos. That break that I didn't mean to run ran. I am so sorry. Artsy fartsy here, aren't we? Are you getting a bit tired, little seed? <laughs> Only kidding. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is creepy ass shit when this happens, blocking off the way. Like, why is that happening? Maybe it's really not creepy and it just feels creepy to me. some serious soul possession problems. Ah, oh, what a shame. I expected more from the spring. Why does it always rain in the spring? And why do we always complain when it rains? Luckily, we only have to find one more fragment. A few drops of rain aren't going to stop us from finishing what we started. Actually, they will. Now you can manipulate three seasons. You should have no problem finding the last guardian. 
I goofed the fuck up and hit the ad break instead of the sleep it out. What's the matter with him now? You think I'm frightening him? Don't worry, my noisy little fox. You'll soon be back where you came from. And I repossess this animal. As I was saying, the Guardian of Summer is hiding at the top of the mountain. Take yeah. The path up through the pines and try not to break. That's exactly what happened. I hit the wrong button and it allowed me to hit the other one afterwards. You're nearly there. Oh, well, that's nice to know. I'm only 23% done. <laughs> Yeah, I made a boo-boo. I... Yeah, and overall, everything today I kind of liked. Hello, Ryudo. I mean, I said hi earlier, but you didn't talk. Or respond. Give me my mouse, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Many dingings. Well, I hope your day was good, Ryudo. I think we didn't bingo yet. Oh yeah, I did. Technical difficulties, haha. -ha. Work was a bunch of meetings. They do midi video meetings. Woof. Yes, I'm well aware of the work meetings. Too many in a day. Pet cat, pet cat, pet fish, cat, hydrate, cat. Somebody ordered me to pet the cat yesterday. I don't remember if I did. Shit. Pet fish, hydrate meds, hydrate. Okay. I winded finally. Stop doing that, computer. Seriously. I did hit refresh. Okay, so I've tried to figure out, like, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Mm -mm. Ending. Sorry, I'm just looking at my potential targets. There's one. I'm gonna double check. What was it I was... Oh, that's what I wanted to check. Make sure. This is like a legit. I went live and not. I'm doing some Kuso stuff. Ah, 
That'll work. Just wanted to send us somewhere different. Get the spell right? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out today. Again, I'm uh, Jim Poo. I am here almost five days. I am here five days a week, but, you know, I'm only here for two more days, and then I'm off for two weeks because I'm having body parts yeeted into the sun. Um... I won't be able to sit up for a few days, I'm sure. Or laugh or do anything exciting. So I feel like I have an ice pick in my gut, is how it's been explained to me. But it'll feel better afterwards, and then I won't ever have to deal with the pain I've had for 34 fucking years. Yes, please don't. I have to even make sure I have Robitussin so I don't cough. All right, so Karma's doing some Battle of Olympus. Um, no splits, personal best. I guess she's doing some speedrunny stuff with this game. Actually, I haven't sat through to watch any of it. But uh, her title says a few more BOO attempts before I lose the rest of my week to Stardew. So yeah. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. If you're not following, please do. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow with four other games. Have a fun time at Karma. Because I rattled too long. <laughs>